Kentucky cooking segment brought to you by Creative Kitchen and Bath, where you will always cook in style. Hey there, and welcome back. Chef Allison Davis here in the Wild Time Kitchen. And I'm cooking up, I say this every time I cook, but another one of my favorites. Um, this is a, a play on the Vietnamese pho, which is one of mine and my daughter's favorite uh, places to eat out. We go to these Vietnamese restaurants and we get those big broth bowls with the noodles and the um, you know, bean sprouts, and we've got basil and cilantro. I love spice, of course. So I put a little uh, sriracha in there and I mean it's just amazing the flavors that come from the broth It's very like filling and nourishing at the same time So I wanted to show you how you can make kind of a in this case. We're doing an Asian uh, chicken soup um, That you can make at home so what I started with was a bone broth, and I actually make my own bone broth at home, but you can buy uh, bone broth in the store, or you can buy, you know, store-bought chicken broth. I took a boneless, skinless chicken breast, and I went ahead and sliced it and cooked it, um, and that's just going to add even more uh, richness of that chicken flavor into the soup. Um, so that is now fully cooked, and we're just going to set that aside um, just so that can go on top of our soup. So I've got our broth here just simmering so and then we're going to start to build those Asian flavors and kind of just infuse uh, some of those flavors into this broth. So the first thing we're going to start with is just a hot pan and I'm going to add in some garlic or I'm sorry some ginger knobs that is going to kind of bloom and start to season the bottom of that pan. In addition to that we're going to add in some green onions and we're just going to let these simmer for just a little bit. While this is kind of heating up and simmering before we add in our broth, I want to talk about what we have that's going to go into our bowls once our broth is ready. And so this is all the toppings that cook very quickly that are um, on the side that you kind of can personalize your own bowl, so to speak. So we have some Thai basil, which I absolutely love, cilantro, a little bit of fresh limes that you can cut, maybe some sliced jalapenos. Again, if you like that hot, you can kind of sprinkle those in and then just these bean sprouts and these are just a great uh, nice crunch um, and again they're almost like a free food it's like a water stick if you will there's really no carbs in those uh, sprouts so we are going to keep that and that's going to be put on the top of our broth with our chicken when we're ready and we get that nice flavor working so what I have here um, we're letting our ginger and our green onions kind of simmer and so now we're just going to add in our broth which I already heated up. And then we're going to add a few spices to this. All right, so I'm going to add in a whole uh, fennel, and this is just gonna stay into my broth because I love fennel. Uh, but the thing about fennel, fennel is going to add this almost anise, licorice kind of flavor. And then we are gonna add a few what I call like aromatics. So we're gonna add a couple of whole cloves into this broth and let it simmer. I'm gonna add a few peppercorns just black whole peppercorns. Then I've got some uh, coriander, all right? So coriander is also going to kind of play on those anise flavors. And of course, I love garlic, and I think garlic makes everything better. So we're going to add just a little bit of fresh garlic in there. Remember, we already have that ginger working and those green onions working. Um, one thing that you may not be um, familiar with adding is just a touch of sugar, and that's just going to help to kind of balance with the peppercorns and the cloves. All right, now, I always mention um, I'm a sucker for a little bit of heat, so I like a little bit of sriracha in my broth. That, again, is optional. And then lastly, this one I can't stress enough is important because this is uh, fish sauce. And I love this brand personally, Red Boat is my favorite uh, fish sauce. It's just straight anchovies and sea salt. But this is going to change the broth and it's gonna add what we call umami, which is this overall balance of flavor. It kind of plays on all of those taste buds and just really makes it more uh, savory and palatable. So a little bit of that fish sauce in there. And really that's it. So this is just going to simmer and just work. If you want, you can strain it so that the broth is nice and clear. And then we're going to top it with all of these toppings and um, enjoy it with some chopsticks. And it's delicious. So you'll find this recipe, of course, um, over at WTVQ.com forward slash recipes tab. And you can um, find this recipe and many more. If you're watching Midday Kentucky and Chef Allison Davis. We'll be right back after this short break.